This is salt cedar or tamarix athel. It is one of many species of the salt cedar family that is invasive in the state of Arizona. They are all listed as noxious weeds. This species was introduced back in the late 1800s by a lot of uh, Spanish settlers to plant along people's houses and shade them from the bright sun and grow very fast and provide that air conditioning that we all need in the desert. But unfortunately, now it has escaped that cultivation in people's yards and has gone into our riverways and is out competing all of our native plants, sucking up the water that we hold near and dear here in the desert and out competing our cottonwoods, knocking out the willow populations. They create this incredible monoculture of just salt cedars. Here in the bottom of the Santa Cruz, salt cedars have the potential to reach heights of 60 feet. This is one gigantic individual that has a few smaller individuals growing at its base, and that's how they just become these clusters of gigantic non-native trees that spread like a cancer throughout our washways. The leaves for this plant are very scaly. They almost look like a pine needles. They are covered in salt, and this plant is called a salt cedar because it's able to deal with high soil salt concentrations. It's able to thrive in that. They build up the salt content in their needles, and then they drop those needles to the ground, creating an even higher density of salt at their foot, which outcompetes all of the native plants. It suppresses them from growing and enables their species specifically to grow in their footprint. That accentuates the problem of its invasive capabilities. Salt cedar is rarely ever used by native creatures in my experience. Uh, sometimes you might see an owl roosting at the very top of a dead old tree, but you don't see little birds using it for nesting. You never see insects using it. It's probably due to the salt content in its leaves again. It's just not something that is palatable to our native creatures. Hi, I'm Tom McNamara, host of Arizona Illustrated. Thank you for watching this story from our show. And for more local content from Arizona Illustrated, just click right here.